I was gonna try and make a grand reveal, but it. Okay. Bro, what is life? <sighs> I'm hiking in the Black Forest with Fabio and Helen right now. I saw their hometown in Kalmbach. Everything is so pretty. What is life? I'm so glad to be alive right now. Life is amazing. All right, I gotta go run to catch up with him, but I just am loving life right now. I'm so glad I'm here. If I died tomorrow, I, I think I'd be content. So oh, what's up, Sam? Back in Kazoo, and um, I was FaceTiming mom and dad, and they just recommended that I tell you this. Um, they thought it was cool that like, I learned how to say, I'll just say it. Um, sono allergico agli anacardi e pistacchi. Um, I think it means I'm allergic to cashews and pistachios. Anacardi e pistacchi. Um, yeah, I looked into the, you know, IPA notation for a bunch of things. Grazie. Um, bon, bon. Um, that one's quite hard. What else? Um, arrivederci. Oh, it sounds so pretty. I think that means goodbye. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Um, obviously, ciao. And a bunch of other things. But yeah, they just wanted me to show show you, I don't know, my pronunciation of it. Sorry, I'm losing my voice because of the roam, getting sick, going to hang out with Jamie and friends at the rave, yelling. Life, you know, how will be that's awesome for real. I think we're going to the Eppelze tomorrow. That lake. Um, anyways, um, love and life. Uh, okay, one deep thought that I had, shower thought. I haven't actually lived out any of my fantasies yet of traveling. I don't really have any fantasies or dreams of how Germany will go. I'm just experiencing it as it's happening. I didn't have anything. Because the closest was making friends completely independent of Fabio or Till and hanging out with them, which I have with Jamie and friends, which felt so amazing. And I'm hoping that since I have deep fa fantasies and fascinations about Japan and surfing and Australia and Philippines or whatever is going on in my future, that it'll feel absolutely amazing to fulfill those fantasies. We'll see, because once I'm living them out, what does it feel like? Because right now I'm still looking forward to them. Um, I'm trying to live in the moment, but it'll just be a little bit different. Um, yeah, that was my one thought. Um, okay, ciao. <laughs>
I don't know, I just wanted to capture the strife that I am putting myself through because I want this to be like a perfect trip. Um, from dad's point of view, he said that uh, going to a lake, you can go to a lake in Indiana. That's something you can do in America. Do something different. But I think I disagree. I feel their pressure to live some extraordinary different lifestyle while I'm here. But in my opinion, wherever you go, there you are. I don't want, I don't want to be pressured into doing things that I intrinsically don't want to do for myself. I don't want to do things that are just done to appease others' expectations for what my experience should look like. Um, there's just something I'm wrestling with. It seems very tough to fight against the expectations that my family and friends have on on what they think my experience should be, plus the expectations that my German friends think my experience should be, plus plus my seikai o mitai, putting pressure on myself to see the world, and, and I'm not sure what that means for me. I think mom's right, the easiest decision is regional trips. Since I have that 49 euro Deutsche Bahn ticket, absolutely do those. But I'm just cooling off to the idea of my mega Deutsche Bahn trip to Neuschwanstein and then Berlin and then close to Hanover for that tank museum. Why? And then maybe a day trip somewhere and on my way to Dusseldorf to see Fabio and do the and then plus Amsterdam, and then Köln. I don't know what I want. It's part of the problem, I didn't... I can't. To be honest, I can't remember where I started, why I started with Germany. Like, I can't remember what it was initially that inspired me to... Oh yeah. The whole reason I came here initially was to continue to work, because I knew I could work here. Sorry, I'm rambling now, but I have clear goals for what I want out of Japan, of course. Somewhat clear goals of what I want out of Australia. New opportunities to grow. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really rambling now, but I thought this is probably worthwhile capturing my strife. Um, the other thing I want to tell you is that it's just pretty abrasive living in Germany um, long term as a local but being a tourist who doesn't speak any German and is not committed to even trying um, I've given the illusion of trying because I kind of did in the past but by learning somewhat of the correct Aussprache um, that's at least better than nothing for sure um, so glad I have at least I'm not butchering the language every day but um, I hope it feels way different in Japan being wholeheartedly committed to the language and culture I just feel this um, abrasion like, it's hard to explain alright that's enough rambling Sam time to reflect and figure out what I want out of the next five weeks I have in, in Germany. I'll make you proud. I'll, I'll, I'll make you memories. Okay, let me go do the, do the hard thing. <laughs> Bye. What? Go home in a bed. Sounds good. Video. What's up, Sam? I'm going to Neuschwanstein today. It's 5 a.m. Got the train. What's up, Sam? 
that. There's no charge time. It's breathtaking. Amazing. I just ate a snack here. Had some peanuts, grapes, and an orange. I was sitting right there. Right there. Right there. There. Just looking out at that for at least 20 minutes. And look what's behind me. I even. <laughs> I peed, I, I peed right there. Best pee of my life. It's like the Rick and Morty shot with the toilet like over the, over something like, like this. No, anyways. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever done. One of the most beautiful, beautiful things I've ever seen. And the only cost I really have is my $35 hostel. Life is crazy. Life is actually <sighs> Subarashi. <laughs> All right, Sam. This this is the best place <laughs> that I've ever been in my life. Actually, um, I got choked up or like, honestly, I kind of wept here. Like I didn't cry many tears, but I just couldn't control myself. I'm at one of the summits. It's a bit higher over there, um, but I'm at this like rocky place where it gets really high up. I'm peeking. I'm literally peeking. I'm on. I'm on a peak, and I'm peeking. One sec. Like, just look at this. This landscape. And down there is that. That's the castle. That's Neuschwanstein. I'm like five times its height. Oh yeah, I'm 4,500 feet in the air right now. I started, I think from sea level, I think I've gotten this far unaided just on my feet today. I don't know how long I've been hiking because I haven't really been rushed, I've just been enjoying it. So there's the end of it. Down there is, uh, we're at wall, my little finger looks long. Down there is where uh, I need to get, I think, which is either a $20 tram ride or a two hour hike down. You already know which one I'm gonna pick. And then over here, it's um, you know, just more paradise. It doesn't look the same on a camera, I bet, but just the gravity of sitting here, just on an outcropping of rock, 4,500 feet in the air, like just with my legs dangling over the cliffside, which isn't the smartest, but it's not that far down. Anyways, um, I'm in shock and rambling, sorry. Oh, for context, there's Fusen over there, I think. Bus from well, there's the um, the train station over there. Which I took a bus then to get to Neuschwanstein. Um, yeah, my Air Airbnb is over there. I just have to be there in like four hours. That looks quite far away. <laughs> Gosh. 
Austin, Liam, I hope you see this. I just thought of you both, I don't know. Because obviously Sam's gonna watch this, but I hope you both watch this just because I think it's a, a bizarre moment that I would like to share, I don't know. Anyways. That was random. I lost my train of thought, so I'll leave you with that. Goodbye from paradise. Toodles. <laughs> Bro, the climb down is perilous. Look at this, they got these big cable things. If I slipped, I would fall all the way to the end. It's arduous, it's actually crazy. Like, having to earn the view that I saw. <laughs> It's actually insane. I'm having to take it slowly. Cause even though I'm in great shape and feel amazing and I'm very coordinated, I'm a little spooked. That was almost a Fabioism. That's funny. I've picked up stuff from everyone. Always I'm a sponge. Anyways, hope I survive. If there's a next clip, uh bars. Look, I'm just like there's the marker for the path. And I'm just I'm supposed to follow it. But Look, that's what's, it's just bizarre. I think, I think that's right where I was. I think I hiked to the top of that. And then I had to go all the way here. And then treacherously all the way down to here. That was like 2,000 feet. Insane. Actually, no. I know it doesn't really matter, but I think it's right there. Right where that dude is, actually. Right where the dude's paragliding. Like, where's my fingers? Oh, it's gonna be so small. That. Um, because I remember those being behind me. So, yeah. That's where I was able to hike to. To see the amazing amazing view yeah and then I hiked all the way over there and then yeah pain but also an amazing challenge and I thought about whether I regretted not just taking the tram tr uh, lift thing back down here I don't regret it at all it was such a challenge I felt so alive during it and I'm so glad that I'm traveling when I'm in the best shape of my life yeah, so yeah, I survived. It was quite difficult though, and I think it was rated as one of the hardest levels for people. I don't think it was for beginners. Um, so I took it quite slow. Some dude literally dusted me. But yeah. No Schwanstein, Boost and Trip. Success. Core memory, actually. Probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Sorry for the weird camera. I didn't feel like changing. <laughs> Get the first guy yours. What? Made it to family's day. It's 8 a.m. Gonna practice floating on my back and treading water. And I'm gonna study Japanese here, you know. Eat some more. Eat some more. Eat some more. Oh, shit, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, paradise. I just want to say Sam because I keep thinking about it. Not talking to girls or not trying to talk to any girls while I'm here. 
in Germany is, is painful to think about. I've had so many opportunities. And today I didn't have an opportunity and I think I actually would have taken it if I had one. And I just, I'm frustrated because I have three weeks left and I feel like it should have been one of my goals or it should have been more, it should have been more, more of a focus. That's all, I'm just frustrated in myself. Because I think I've developed self-confidence and I am ready. That's all. Right. Well, it's like bright blue. <laughs> Karlsruhe means also forbidden. Like right now I'm doing that. Oh, really? Like you're allowed to do that. Uh, uh, <gasps> Someone, a flashing one. Yeah. What? Oh, there's a flashing white one, and then there's the blue one. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Yo! 186! Bruh! <laughs> What's up, Sam? Welcome to Hyderabad. Or, here's the memory of it. I just wanted to say that this was a 30 minute train ride included in the Deutschland, Deutschland, Deutschland ticket. And I haven't spent any money today. I went fully around the castle. I didn't go in it. I didn't feel like paying for it and I didn't feel like going in. But yeah, brought my own food. Amazing train here. Amazing views. Just reveling in the, the amazingness of the transit system and the free experiences that are half an hour from Crosser. It's amazing. <laughs>